Good afternoon, everyone. T Speak at 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side by the element feature Digibud OG. So, real quick, you see Doe's bounce off that 28.6 level that we had drawn yesterday. So, if you guys bought in at 28.6, obviously you got a small little pump there. We're going to see if it can continue the volume. This is either a fake out or a breakout. We don't know. We're kind of stuck here. We got to see what Bitcoin does on the one minute. It looks like it could be building its way back down, but we don't know. We got a nice little sudden burst of volume like we were talking about. If we could, XRP bounced beautifully off the dollar five line. So I know a lot of you guys are very, very happy about that because you bought an XRP down here and wrote it up right now. So what we're looking for is to see if we can get back on the top side of that descending line. We have to be on the top side of that. Otherwise, we're bearish. That yellow line you see going across the street. I've got three points of contact up at the top that I've shown you in the daily multiple times. But before we go any farther, take a moment, hit that like button. Or dislike button if you want to voice your displeasure. As I've found out, I'm the mo becoming the most hated person on YouTube. Not just by people watching me, but by other YouTubers because they can't stand my accuracy. Once again today, it's on full display. If you haven't already done so, take a look at the Twitter. That's in the link in the description. Follow up. We're up to almost 200 followers on uh, Twitter. That's the easiest way to see my content. Because YouTube does a terrible job telling you guys, even if you have the bell notification turned to all... I always update my videos right when they become available on YouTube, right to my Twitter. Also, if you want to check out my Swing Traders Anonymous, it just went over 318 subscribers in the first five days, which is unbelievable. That link is also in the description. So what we're looking at XRP is we came up and finished basically this cup and handle almost. Well, we broke out of it just a tiny bit from last night. We, that's why we had this line up here at $1.09 and then farther up here at about $1.19 would have been what we would think it would break out to about $1.20. It did get up a little bit higher, but not much. So when we go into the one minute, the most logical thing, we're hugging that resistance line again, guys, and I told you that's going to be a huge factor. Can we get back above that line, or are we going to keep getting rejected by it? Right now, it's once again showing rejection. So we don't want to really be bouncing back and forth in this level, because there's only so many times you're going to hold up. But like Doge again at 32 cents, we don't know if it's going to pop up again, but we're, we're watching. A lot of people very happy today. I know a lot of you took Matic at $1.25 or $1.28, wherever that line was. I got so many messages asking when you should sell out. So about $1.28, people were buying in. And guys, these we got to see if it's going to ride that $1.38 as resistance or if it's going to go up to $1.45 on Matic. We're kind of in no man's land right now because we kind of ran out of steam right when we got to that 138 line and burst over just a tiny bit. It's like Doge is at that all-important 32 and a half cents and it, it got stood up. So we're trying to see what's going to happen right now, but we're going to stick with XRP, the most likely scenario. This is if we get no volume, we'll get stacked up by this line, maybe push to 120, come back down, and then we're going to have to start this all over again. Unless we get some volume. If we don't get any volume, this would be the structure to build us down to here. If we get some volume, this could sustain us to a push to 128, if not a little bit further. And you tried to get top side of that 135 before the close or 130, wherever you want to put it, before the daily close to prove bullish. The close last night put us very bearish in the daily, two days in a row. So we just have to see, guys. It's all about patience. That's why I keep giving you these buy zones. A lot of people are doing very well. And that makes me the happiest of all. So, T Speaker 222 XRP, future millionaire with the side button next. I'm in future Digibud OG. Don't forget to take a look at the Twitter, the links in the description. Also, the Swing Traders Anonymous YouTube page. Don't forget to follow that and subscribe. And also, if you want to become a member of Tom's Army or donate to the channel, those links are also in the description. Stay true, stay blessed.